Can't get away from the water. Mushy, mushy. Okay, so I know it's gonna look terribly far and impossible with all this flooding, but you see that little itty bitty mountain? Way over there? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we gotta go to the right side of it. <laughs> but I, we're walking that way. <laughs> well, I know, but look. It's either that or we swim that way. I know it looks terribly far, but it... Okay. If we didn't come this way, we would have added at least a third of the time and distance on. All right, man. So, welcome to all of you to another Not Thursday. Dame and I are going to go metal detecting, and I want to go to a cellar hole way over there, which it's been two years, very peculiar location, found a few things, but it's been two years. We have new machines. Both of us have been wanting to take you out there. We're just hoping we can get there from here. If not, we'll go somewhere else. We'll make it up as we go. So let's uh, let's do it. All right, this is the only spot that I was having thoughts and questions of, but it ain't too bad because it's flowing into where it's flooded. It was coming out the other way. <laughs> yeah. Woof. Slick it all? Yep. Oh, and rolling. So we are 15 minutes out. And where we are is at the tail end of one farm. You can see the walls. Public space, big squares up there. This will be our plan B if we can't get to objective A. Orbit zone. Yeah. Yeah, it's decent up here. So essentially what we are trying to achieve is the disconnect between this farm and the ancient spot. So, unfortunately, we're going to go down and hopefully it's not uh, a lagoon. It looks like some extreme downness. Yeah, well, you know. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We made it completely to the end of the farm. We're leaving. And we're heading through hopefully no more than 15 minutes of this. You I gotta... think I see a game trail here. Let's hope. All right, catch up with you in a little bit. So we've been going quite a ways. And what has happened is, I don't know if you can see it on the ground, this is definitely an ancient trail. It's documented indigenous people were out in this area. Yep. And that ain't no game trail. I mean, it's it's hard packed. That's the thing, when, when we're walking through the woods, we can tell the difference in the feel between a straight loggers route and an actual old road or an ancient trail because of the firmness especially around here everything is sponge 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 and you get on this right and you know when you step off it and nothing grows mm -hmm. on the ancient trails so this is what we're following and we're just trying to keep heading southwest and hopefully hopefully all this stuff breaks soon all right, and fortunately, it's broken. So why this is so texturous, that is a mountain and it is steep. You can't, you could climb it, but it would be treacherous. Our in-between with all the rhododendrons and other jungle-like attire, because down there is all wet. So this stuff just creeps up out of the wetness and uh, this is it this is the only way through and that's why we're doing it all right let's hope it stays like this and my guess is 10 minutes all right we made it this is it's kind of a crazy location yeah I've been wanting you to see it because it doesn't fit the mold of everything else no it's it it's a beautiful island in the middle of all this crap would have been one of the choice 
places uh, back in the day. That took us 50 minutes. At a third of a mile an hour. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hoping to find some old stuff. Let's dig. Hopefully we're not clipping it now. Ah, nice. It was a button dam. Mission accomplished, nine inches deep. Pays to come back and have a different machine to do it. And that is Tomback, so right in the realm of what we're expecting, 1700s. So as local history has it written, this is actually a pretty cool place. It's uh, written that they settled out here in the 1730s, but when they settled out here, there were people already living here. So it's one of those areas that, you know, they got off the boats and went further and probably without grants or bought land. They just settled. Oh, nice. Another button. Wow. I say that because I did a, I did a good job on this lip, or at least so I thought. Yeah, little sleeve button and tom back again. All right, so I heard Dame over here working and working. Did you say it was right up with 39? It was a 42 in the ground, and then it was a 39 in the plug. And I got a tom back. Oh, look Baby. at that. Yeah. Let's shank. Excellent. Teeny weeny sniping. Look at that shine. Yeah. Wow, we're actually, uh, we're doing better than I thought we would. Yes. Yes, we are. Well, it might be a nail. Yep, nail. That's awfully loud. Wow, another button. It must have not submerged because of the, all the rocks and stuff. Oh, it's pewter. Beautiful. Oh, it's a little knife blade. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool, actually. It's teeny. I wonder if it's a pocket knife. Yeah. Although it looks like old, old stuff. Yeah, cool. The last thing about out here is, this is like about as old as it gets. Yes. I mean, I have no idea how long they were here, but so far all Tomback computer and Lead ball, age unknown. That is ugly enough to want to know. Ah, good thing I went for it. Looks like a normal iron debuckle. Let me get a little brush. No, definitely not your standard D ring. It's got something round on the end. It almost looks like the size of a button. See it? So it's almost more like a handle. That's cool and different. Huh? Very similar to the teeny weeny tomback. Low but solid. Piece of pewter. Oh. Yeah, good catch. Yeah. Spoonage, bucklage. Bucklage maybe. 
cool. Drippage. Yeah. Let's see what that big nasty is. Oof. Big chunk of bean plot. It's like three eighths thick. Heavy duty stuff right there. Well, there's definitely enough of an iron floor that one of my thoughts today was hit it with the five inch coil. Because again, it's been a couple years, different machine, different size coils. Give that a spin around the footprint of the cellar. Well, I don't think I needed the small coil to find that. Wow. There's your bean pot Dutch oven chunk and in with it which I'm happy to have found some glazed pottery oh yeah beautiful oh nice see I always take this stuff window glass and most likely by the age of this site this came directly from England. Wow. It's the base of the pottery. Wow, there's a lot of it in here. That was interesting. A lot more shards. I've just been putting them in my pouch. But that's some beautiful stuff. I was just going to ask you if you've gone into the chimney stack yet. I'm there now. Well, yeah. I just cracked the ground open and there's plenty of pottery, window glass, and nice. half a bean pot. We'll see what's, uh, what else is in here. Yeah. Must have kicked it out somewhere. Oh, it's a lead button. Good job. Oh, wow. That was tough. It was jumping all around. Yeah. Real good, though. Yeah. Good, because this has been the quiet side. Yeah. Which I'm surprised, because this looks like... You know, a living space. Yeah, it's flat, smooth, before it goes down into the jungle. Yeah. Doing good. Seems like another big one. More of the pot. Well, I did my loop around the lip with the small coil. Yeah, that's what I thought. 22 slug. And uh, now this wall comes away from the home site. There's another little wall right here. That's it. Two walls. Goes out in the middle of nothing. So I'm going to swing in here with the big coil. Let's see what happens. Another button. Tom back, no shank. Nice.
maybe. Weak, but maybe. A piece of pewter. Actually, looks like the top of a baby spoon handle. So, that's good. What's left of it? Roots and straps. the rock. There we go, another small button. A little bit different, it's got a domed back. That is still Tom back though. All right, so slightly off in the side yard. Yeah, it's been a little while for me, so it's... I'm hitting the yucky areas. Oh. Yeah. Well, that should be good out here. Should be. Only had one shotgun shell and it was on the surface. Huh. Yeah. yeah, another pewter button. Good job. Very nice. It's a lot of pewter today. Pewter and Tom back. Yep. Sign of the times. Mm -hmm. Awesome job, man. Yeah, I've been out here moving about too. A little bit of iron, but. No targets like that, so very good. I don't know. Wow, oh, really is in the tree. Oh, yes. Nice convex button. Wow, I thought that was going to be ammo. Let's shank. So not bad. I had found this place a couple years ago, came out, did an NT, did what I needed to do. We come back. Nine buttons. And things. And things, other stuff and things. Yes. So pretty good. Damn good. You know, and the thing about for us coming out here is it's the journey. It does set your mind somewhere completely else when you have to walk that far through rugged terrain to reach where a big colonial house once stood and this was a farm. Unbelievably, it's pretty one much all overgrown. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. It's that you walk onto a family's property. There's somebody who lived here. On the side of a mountain above a pond yep so get out go have a journey enjoy the trip and we'll see you all very soon enjoy you're not thursday <laughs>